up YouTube. Happy Saturday. It is peak week. I realize it's not Saturday when you're watching this, but it is Saturday, July 24th. Um, this is, I guess you would consider this the start of my peak week, meaning the week before my show. So weekends are usually not the funnest when it comes to peak week. Um, it's depletion weekend, meaning food is at its lowest, cardio is at its highest. So I just got finished with my first cardio session. I am one person that like has to break up my cardio. I can't do it. I could not sit on this, on a machine for that long. Um, so just steady state cardio. I just got done doing that. Actually, it wasn't too bad. Um, I did like a little Q and A on my Instagram, and that really kept me occupied for a long time. I was surprised. So we got some cardio done, um, and I think I'm gonna go walk to Starbucks and get a decaf americano because i have been craving one of those and today because food is a little bit lower um the zero calorie drinks they just they truly help you guys they truly help um you know i still drink decaf coffee i'm still gonna get the sugar-free syrup in my coffee i mean my show is next saturday and i get asked a lot like what do you change in peak week do you cut out a bunch of artificial sweeteners and yes i pull back on those a little bit but i really like my body doesn't have an adverse reaction to those things. Um, so I can easily have like the sugar-free syrup in moderation, of course, like I'm not I'm not drinking the whole bottle, guys. Um, but my body is totally fine with that stuff. Like I don't notice that I bloat. The, the things that cause me to bloat, honestly, is just when I eat too much volume. So I'll pay attention to that. Um, I'll take you guys along throughout my day. Um, and yeah, so welcome to Depletion Weekend and welcome to Peak Week. Another thing, um, you guys, so I mentioned I was going to get a decaf Americano. And the reason is... Um, I get decaf because if I want to have like an energy drink, I can, um, and I don't like to pile up too much caffeine throughout the day, but I do not cut energy drinks out, um, on peak week. Honestly, I just drink them because I think that they taste good, um, and it helps to, you know, curb cravings or hunger. Um, sometimes I'll only drink like a half of one, so this one actually only has 200 milligrams of caffeine, which is slightly lower compared to like a bang um but i'll have like half of this um again it just tastes good um i don't personally cut this out until like you know maybe a couple days before show because this isn't something that really i've ever had an issue with bloating wise or just having an adverse reaction to so friends, the last clip I showed you, I said I was walking to Starbucks to get a decaf coffee. Um, that hasn't happened yet, if you can't tell by my lovely, lovely sweaty mess. I even have like mascara down my eye, crazy. Um, but I just did a round on my Peloton. Um, I just did a 30 minute class. Um, I, today's cardio and tomorrow's cardio is the highest it's, it's ever been. So cardio is higher today and tomorrow, but then it goes down from there. So, um, this is obviously depletion weekend. So cardio is high, carbs are lower, and then we fill out throughout the week. But anyways, I got done a good chunk of my cardio this morning. It is now 11.06 AM and, um, I'm going to do the rest of my cardio on the incline treadmill. I didn't want to do more than 30 minutes on the Peloton because as you can see, this is what I look like after 30 minutes. Like it takes a lot, a lot out of you. So anyways, I decided I was like, okay, Lexi, get a 30 minute session done on the Peloton and then you can treat yourself to Starbucks. So I use that as my incentive. And now I'm going to walk to Starbucks for my decaf. <laughs> Okay, so a bit of a sad situation. I just made my normal zucchini oat bowl, um, oatmeal with grated zucchini mixed in and then a lot of cinnamon. That's why the color is kind of dark. And then the sad, sad situation that we have going on here on the top is supposed to be one whole egg and one egg white, except when I transferred it from the pan, it kind of, the yolk kind of like, I don't know what he did. He fell through. So kind of sad about that because the yolk is usually like the best part. Um, but I am still enjoying this on peak week. Um, I will still continue to have my very similar meals. The only difference is I normally have blueberries on top of this. And since I am lower carb today, um, I decided to just skip on those. So it's just the oatmeal that is the main source of carbs in this meal. Okay, so now it is mid-afternoon and I need to get out of my apartment you can tell it's a little messy. I've been doing laundry, but I need a change of scenery. I need to get out. I do find too, when I hang around my apartment too much, I'm very like food focused. I'm always in the kitchen. Uh, sorry, I don't mind the mess, um, but I'm always in the kitchen. I'm very food focused. So like when I get to that point, um, usually I'm like, okay, 
get out of the house. Um, so what I'm gonna go do is finish up my cardio at the gym, um, my favorite gym, uh, Powerhouse. I have a gym that I could walk to or I could do it in my apartment gym again. But again, I need a change of scenery, need to get out of the house. So going to go do that, um, crush that, get it done off my to-do list. And then I'll probably go to the grocery store because I need to grab a couple of things. Um, and I don't think it would hurt to go. There's a couple of grocery stores I wanna hit on my way back um, just for a couple of things that I want to stock up on before show weekend. So I will see you guys. Um, maybe I'll show you the gym, but anyways, I will, I'll catch you in the next clip whenever that is. Okay. So a little tip before I go into the gym, I'm just in the parking lot right now. And gee whiz. Yeah. I look a little, a little rough. You can tell I've done a lot of cardio today. Um, but before I go into the gym, one thing I want to talk about is, um, I don't know if any of you guys have heard of the book, The Five Second Rule before by Mel Robbins, but if you haven't, I would honestly recommend checking it out. Um, but if you're not a reader, I'm just going to kind of tell you like the gist of it. Um, and I promise there's a purpose. This isn't just like a super random clip, but, um, it's a book about the principle called The Five Second Rule. And it's really good for people to like overthink, right? And it's a rule where it says essentially, whenever you're contemplating do doing something or like, you know, just procrastinating literally just start a clock in your head of five four three two one and just do it so the point being is I'm sitting here in my car at the gym um, and I'm gonna take this approach when I go in and get on that cardio machine you know sometimes I get on or I step on and it takes me a minute to push start so I, I know that happens to a lot of people right uh, or we sit out in our car before we go into the gym and we're like oh I don't want to go in or you know we sit on the treadmill and we're like oh I gotta push start my philosophy is, you know, if you feel like you're going to procrastinate or you just don't feel like doing it, start counting down in your head, five, four, three, two, one, and just click start or just get out of your car. Um, but anyways, I promise, like I said, this, this clip did have a point. Um, I've used that philosophy a lot recently, especially when I've had to use a lot of like my discipline, um, on my more challenging prep days. But anyways, I'm going to get going and go knock out this cardio in the gym. So I have not had this in forever, but I've only been able to find this brand at Sprouts, which is where I'm at now, and I haven't been here in forever. But this Diet Hansen's, it's like a diet soda. It's similar to Zevia, but it is so good. If you can find it at your local grocery store, I highly recommend getting it. I love the Diet Cherry Vanilla flavor. Okay, you guys, how adorable are these little baby purple sweet potatoes? They are tiny. I'm not gonna get them quite yet because I don't quite have, well, I have enough carbs for them, but this will be something I prepare later in the week, but they're so cute. Like they're so small. I know it's hard to tell, but like for reference, it's so cute and tiny. I was just a little mesmerized by these. Okay, friends, these deserve a special shout out. These are the roasted seaweed teriyaki flavor, um, little seaweed like paper snacks from Sprouts. And I don't know what it is about the Sprouts brand and the teriyaki flavor, but these guys are delicious. Maybe it's just my taste buds at the moment, but I've always loved these. Um, macros are, there's like three servings per thing and macros for the whole thing would be three fat, three carb and three protein. So not bad at all. Again, if you live near Sprouts, highly recommend grabbing their teriyaki seaweed papers. I don't know what it is, you guys. These are so dang good though. Okay guys, really quick little like mini grocery haul. I just went to Walmart and Sprouts. Um, I showed you guys a couple clips of me and Sprouts and this is a very odd setup. Like I'm kind of kneeling on the ground, but I couldn't really think of any other way to do this um, where the lighting was going to be good. Um, my kitchen, like I live in a studio, so it's a little limited like with my, um, with my, what do you call it, counter space. So I just figured I'd show you guys what I got. But anyways, the setup works. Hopefully you guys don't feel so uh, as awkward as I do. But of course I got some of my seaweed papers. I love these. They're like freakishly really good. Specifically the teriyaki ones from Sprouts. Um, okay, uh, I also got the little mini um, sea salt ones. I already had a little pack. Literally for one of these packs, it's one fat, one carb, one protein. So not bad at all. Um, I got some rice cakes because I feel like everywhere I go recently, it's been hard to find rice cakes. So whenever I see them, I just, I have to grab them. Um, I also grabbed the Sprouts brand rice cakes. Um, they're like a little bit more miniature, but these are only five grams of carbs per little cake, but they are a lot smaller. 
in reference to my head. Um, but I did grab them. Um, I grabbed, lastly from Sprouts, yeah, a spaghetti squash, because that's a perfect volume rich carb source and I love my spaghetti squash. So then I just ran to Walmart really quick and picked up a couple of things. I'll probably be at the grocery store just about every day this week, but like, who am I kidding? That's kind of me anyways. Um, but I grabbed my new obsession, which are these great, no, clear American sparkling waters. So good. One of my favorite things about these is they are literally 57 cents at Walmart and I am all for Balling on a budget. This is the key lime flavor. I've never tried it. This is the cotton candy flavor. One of my favorites. Two grams of carbs for the whole thing. These are a lifesaver during prep. Um, but I, I I would drink them off prep as well. Um, okay, so that was from Walmart. I got some some gum from Walmart as well. Um, got some Dijon mustard. This has kind of been my condiment of choice recently. Um, and then I lastly just got some frozen broccoli because I've been loving air fried frozen or air fried broccoli. Literally, I'll just stick it in um, from the frozen bag into my air fryer and kind of air fry it until it gets a little crispy. It's really good. So, oh, and I got some almond milk, but I already put that in the fridge. So that's what I got in my little grocery run, grocery haul. Um, but I'll show you guys um, what I cook up next. I think that'll be the next clip. Um, if it isn't, then who knows what I'll put in this video. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this so far. And uh, yeah, that was my little grocery haul. Okay, so really quickly, this is really cool. I decided to make some spaghetti squash. I love spaghetti squash. Perfect for when carbs are lower. I haven't had it in a while because my carbs haven't, you know, been extremely low, but since they are temporarily lower um, at this point in peak week, I decided I got a spaghetti squash and I was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna see if I can air fry it. You know, what's the worst that can happen? So I actually cut it in half first and then I put it in the air fryer. Don't ask for how long, I just kind of eyeballed it, but um, yeah, I just scraped out the squash from the inside and it's like looking so beautiful. It made me so happy. And then I'm gonna show you guys what I am going to do next. So. I actually have some thinly sliced zucchini. Um, I'm gonna place it into the air fryer and make some zucchini chips. Um, those of you who follow me on Instagram may have seen me do this before, but I've been loving these. Um, you know, yeah, I could easily just like eat my zucchini raw like this, but it wouldn't taste the best in my opinion. So what I do is I thinly slice it, I put in, put them in the air fryer. I don't put anything on them before I put them in the air fryer. I mean, you can, but I don't. Um, I'll season them afterwards if I want to, um, but I'm gonna place these in the air fryer. I think my air fryer defaults to like 375 degrees. I'll let you guys know how long I keep them in there for but I'll show you the finished product. Um, I also like to do this with broccoli and also mushrooms are really good in the air fryer surprisingly. All right so here we are I timed it and we are 10 minutes later so as you can see they significantly shrink down but here's what we're working with when you slice zucchini put it into the air fryer at 375 for about 10 minutes they become pretty chip like and if you don't want them like crunchy or chip like you can always leave them in for a little bit less but i like them a little crunchy a little brown um but just a little hack um i don't even want to say a diet hack i mean you could do this whether you're in a diet or not but if you are somebody who just like struggles to get in veggies, this is a really good way to kind of trick your brain into somewhat enjoying them. Hey guys, so it is the next day. Um, I didn't really film an outro clip yesterday, but it is Sunday, second day of depletion part of peak week. So really excited because guys, I only have 20 minutes left of cardio for the day. And then starting tomorrow, my cardio is less than half of what it is right now. So praise the Lord, we made it through, but I am really just embracing these days um, because this is just part of the process. And like at the end of the day, in a weird way, sometimes the grind is just kind of fun, um, but just embracing the days, realizing that guess what? I'm choosing to do this. Nobody's telling me I have to. And you guys have probably heard me say this before, but you have to have the I get to mentality rather than the oh I have to mentality because guys believe me there are so many people out there that you know can't work out can't move their body for you know different reasons right so you have to go into your workout go into your cardio with them in mind do it for those people um, but to wrap up this video thank you guys for watching I will definitely be doing more peak week um, I will do, at least put out another video um, probably this week on peak week I will absolutely be documenting my show day so excited about that. Mom and I leave on Friday morning, so I'll take you guys along for the whole journey. Um, but I'm kind of sitting down today with it being Sunday, 
you know, kind of writing out what I need to start doing throughout the week, when I need to start packing. The problem with packing is it's like, I would love to start packing right now, but a lot of the stuff I'm gonna pack is like stuff I'm gonna use between now and Friday when I leave. So I can't pack a ton of things. I definitely set aside some little things that I was like, oh, I'll probably forget. Um, for example, I always, in any competitor should make sure to do this, always bring loose black clothing or like loose dark clothing for your tan. This is one thing that I know I'll forget, so I'm setting it aside now. Um, I am also, one thing I wanna point out, cause they're right here, my shoe fairy slides. These are my favorite, they're so cute, you guys. I love the shoe fairy. Um, I just ordered a pair of their Olympian heels. They won't be in until after my show, sadly, but um, I love these slides. I bring them because I wear them in the hotel, but also behind stage. That's another thing. As a competitor, make sure that you bring like flip-flops or open-toed shoes to wear backstage. Unless you wanna be trucking around in your heels backstage, you, you really don't, trust me. And you don't wanna walk around barefoot either. Um, so I'm just doing some laundry too, making sure that I have all of my team gear, um, you know, clean, like my team pro physique swag. Um, I'm really gonna only be gone Friday, Saturday, and then most of the day on Sunday. So it's not like I have to pack a ton, but one last quick final note is, I will probably show you guys what I pack, um, but I am gonna bring like a little suitcase and then a duffel bag. The reason I'm bringing the little suitcase is as a competitor backstage, you wanna make sure that whatever bag you bring with you backstage is something that you don't have to carry around your shoulder. That will ruin the tan. You can bring a bag backstage, but just make sure it's one that you can like carry um, you know, by the handle on your with your hand. Um, because if you bring a big bag and put it over your shoulder to bring backstage, it's going to potentially ruin the tan. Um, so that's why I'm bringing a suitcase and then a duffel bag. Um, I'm also kind of sitting down and writing out what food I'm gonna need to prep. I don't want to do any of my food prep that I'm going to have to take with me until like Sunday because I want the food to be as fresh as possible. So there's no need to really stress about it now. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more Peak Week vlogs. I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. I just love sharing this journey with you. So please like this video if you enjoyed it. Comment below if there's something you want to see from me this week or on show day. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for coming along this journey and I will see you in the next video.